what's up, y'all? It's Corner Sports Net. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment. It don't take long to subscribe. Man, there was a time when you had five-star prospects, five-star recruits. They would never put an HBCU in their top five schools that they're considered going to. But a lot has changed in the last year and a half. And a lot of things have changed, yeah? With the TV exposure in the spring, with Prime doing what he's doing, with these kids transferring to HBCUs, four-star recruits, three-star recruits, big-time players. So now players are at least thinking about HBCUs if they have five-star recruit. The latest big name recruit, he's Mr. Mr. Athletics in North Carolina, or play of the year in North Carolina, is Travis Shaw. Now, he dwindled down his top five. And in his top five, he has Clemson, North Carolina, Georgia, and North Carolina A&T. Yeah, North Carolina A&T. Now, he's from North Carolina. He don't live far from the campus of North Carolina A&T. So I'm sure he already visited the school. My bad, y'all. I said he released his top five, but really his top four. He released the names on Twitter. The schools that he's um, thinking about going to is his top four. But yeah, this is kind of unheard of because before, five-star prospect, they wasn't really thinking about no HBCU like that. So the fact that they're even mentioning uh, HBCU and their top four or their top five is progress. Most of the time, they'll get an offer from a HBCU and say, I'm thankful for this offer. It's a blessing, and they'll move on. They'll pick Alabama or they'll pick Georgia. They wouldn't really take that offer from an HBCU serious. So this is progress. Now, people are saying, well, you know he's not going to, H to HBCU. But look, at least he's put in his top four. That's progress. Now, Travis has all, all the measurables. He's 6'5", he's 3'10", he's athletic, he's strong. Got a wide build. And 24-7 has him rated as the fourth best defensive lineman and ninth best prospect in the class of 2022. Now, sophomore year, he had 110 tackles. He had 12 sacks. They're already saying, they're already projecting him to be a future pro, a high pick in the NFL draft. But I don't put that kind of pressure on him. I need to see what he's going to do in college first. He got a long ways to go. But they're saying if he works hard, he can accomplish that, that goal of his. So now, if you know me, you've been following my channel, you know I'm pushing for him to go to North Carolina A&T. Now, do I think it's going to happen? Ah, it's 50-50. He's from North Carolina. I know he visited the school. I know he had a good time at North Carolina A&T. Now, look, my son played football at Catawba College in North Carolina, and he used to go visit, he used to go to parties at A&T. He said it was lit, off the hook, had a great time. So I know Travis Shaw is like, yeah, if I go to A&T, my parents will see the game. I'm going to have a good time. I'm going to get a good education. So I'm going to put it at 50-50, him attending North Carolina A&T. Do know it's hard passing up something like Georgia and Clemson. They're on TV. They're playing great competition. The facility's crazy. The resources crazy. But A&T got great resources. They got a beautiful campus. They got a nice school. So I just hope that he goes to North Carolina North Carolina A&T. Talk to you guys later. It's Corner Sports Net.